Hey, what is going on everyone? This is our reviews back with another video and today I will show you guys some actually useful iOS 14 home screen widgets that I believe every iPhone user should have on their device. Now, another really, really useful thing is the like button of this video that helps this channel a lot. And if you support my work, make sure you leave a like as it helps out a lot for the algorithm. And now let's get started with the widgets. All right, so widgets on iOS 14 are great and all that, but most of them won't actually do anything, won't allow you to perform any actions and are not really interactable. They just sit there on the home screen and display info. But here I got a few that can actually do stuff. Now, the first one right here is Launcher. Now, Launcher basically allows you to launch anything from the home screen. So here I have a few of those. I have one here that allows you to perform like a single action, launch an app or a contact or a website. And then I have here the like mid-size one where I have a contact, I have a website, I have an app, and I also have a playlist right there, which again is really great. And at the top, we have the recently launched and that's dynamic. Of course, it will change based on what you have recently launched from launcher. Now, what you can do here is of course, perform all of these action. I can of course, open the website there, open maybe the music app, or if I want to, I can go straight to a playlist or call a contact directly from here. Now, the cool thing about this app is that it allows to create these like manually, you can put anything you want there. To create your launchers, you of course open the app and from here we'll have large, medium and small and you can create one for each for free and then you will have to pay if you want to add more. So you tap on add new, tap right here and you choose of course a name and then you choose what you want to add here. So if I tap right here, I can have a contact there, an app maybe a website, music launcher, or a custom launcher. Like you can add like different URLs and stuff like that. So if I tap on app here, you can see there are like different apps you can add here. You can choose the app store right there and I can apps add something like a calendar. But when you go there, you don't have just like the icon to open the app. You can choose whether you want to open an app or perform an action that is actually supported on that app. In this case, I just want to add an event there. So right here, we're good to go. And now we have added that action to the launcher and I can quickly go ahead and create an event from here. Next up is health widget. Now on iOS, we have the health app, which is of course a stock app by Apple, but it doesn't offer home screen widgets. Hopefully that will change with iOS 15. Now with health widget, you will have all your health info right here. And it has a bunch of different home screen widgets that you can add right there at the top. You can see a medium sized one. We have there the calories burned. We have the steps, the remaining steps for today, the yesterday steps and the average for the last week. And you have here your heart rate. Of course, if you have an Apple watch, it will show right there and then you will have your activity as well. Now let's quickly jump to the widget section of this app. Going to the widget section, you can see here you have a ton of different widgets you can add. Like you can see all your health details right here, floors, climb, walking, running distance, your steps. You also have some for the battery here and the date and you have some really good quotes right there and you have here your sleep, you have your live steps. And as I said, it has like a bunch of them. It has like more than 10 different widgets that you can add to the home screen. Next up is widget. Now I have supported widget a lot because it's based on community and their community on Reddit is simply amazing. You will find there a ton of custom widgets created by the community, which of course you can add to your home screen and they not just look good. They also can do a lot of stuff which you might not know about. So here's an example. What I can do here is just open any of these apps directly from here. Now these widgets are actually interactable. You can add actions to them. So when you tap on any part of the widget, you can do like different actions, like maybe open an app or even like run a shortcut or something like that. So here's widget. And what you can do here is go to any of your widgets that you have. So let's just choose this one and tap on edit. Now, right here, tap the plus button at the layer section. You tap the plus button and you tap on tap action. And you can see right here, that part, you can position it. So when you tap that part of the widget, it will actually perform the action that you choose. And of course, you can also resize that like that. So let's just make it bigger. So this part right here, when I tap there, I want to perform this action that I'm about to select right here. So you can open a URL, maybe run a shortcut, reload the widget, 
or open any of the apps right here, the stock apps or any other apps that you find on this list. And if you don't find your app right on this list, you can maybe create a shortcut and then choose the one shortcut to actually go ahead and launch this app. So let's just choose here an app. Let's just go with Safari, tap right here, tap here, tap confirm, and we're good to go. Now, when we add this shortcut to the home screen, we can just tap right there and it will open that app. Next up is Sports Alerts. Now, Sports Alerts will be one of the best apps that you can get if you're a sports fan. You can have here the latest scores. You can have your favorite team right here. So when you go to the app, of course, you find your team from different leagues that you have here from different sports. You can see like a ton of different leagues. And once you have found one of your favorite team, what you have to do here, just tap that like star right there to favorite it and then from the small icon from the small actual widget what you can do is tap right there tap on edit widget and it will show you right here your favorites and you can just tap right there and then it will display here the latest scores or the upcoming games whichever is closer of your favorite team and right there at the top you can see scores the latest scores from different leagues so you tap on edit widget and you can choose the league right here from MLB to NFL to NBA NHL like soccer leagues anything you want will be displayed right there so if you're a sports fan this is the widget for you next up is favorites now this is an amazing widget and it's actually very very useful it allows to call and message someone directly from the home screen of your device i don't know why apple didn't add a home screen widget for the contacts app this one is actually very useful so i can tap right here and i can quickly go ahead and send a text message to this contact or right here i can call any of these simply by tapping on them and calling them from here so you can see have call and message as well you can do that simply by tapping here tap on edit widget and choose the action where you want to call that contact or text that contact and here you can choose the contact of course you will find these on the app once you have allowed permission to your actual contacts then you will be able to choose them from here and then display them right on the home screen of your device now on the bigger widget here you can tap on edit widget and you will have your contacts here you can choose them one by one you can also rearrange them simply by tapping and holding here and rearrange your contacts on the widget any way you prefer next is power to you now power to you allows you to track the battery percentages of all of your devices now all you need to do is install this app and of course have the app installed on all your other devices that are of course signed in with the same icloud account once you have done that they will display right here the percentages of the battery of all of your devices and if you tap right here, you can go ahead and take a look at the app and see your devices. What you can do here is refresh the widget and also force update. Now, your devices need to be, of course, online for them to actually update normally. But basically, you will see here all the time. And also, it shows you right here the last time that the percentage of battery has been updated for those devices. So if a device is shut down, it will stay like this. But of course, you will know that that device has been shut down and you didn't get the the latest percentage of battery by just taking a look here at the date and the time when this app has actually gotten its battery percentage for the last time next is url now url allows to easily share your social media with anyone from the home screen of your device by using a qr code this is really really awesome you can have maybe your like instagram which i have here or your twitter right there on the home screen someone asks you you just point of course your phone to their camera and they can go right away to your social media now what you can do here is of course go into the app and from here you will have your profile you will have your social media as well you can tap right there on the side and go to socials and from here you can add a new social you can see all of these of course the main ones here are supported you just tap on one of them and add just enter your username here and you're good to go then when going to the home screen you will basically have to just 3d touch on any of them tap on edit widget and choose your social directly from here now the cool thing is of course that you can stack them together you don't have to have a bunch of them you can have one for all your socials and anytime you want to share one of them you can just move them around and last but not least is the shortcuts app of course by apple now we might overlook this because of course it's a stock app but it is actually very very useful so you can see what i have here i can go ahead 
and quickly message someone directly from the home screen. Just tap right there and quickly go ahead and send a message. Or if I want to call them, I can do that from here. So you can see here I have a stack and I have of course like both actions into one stack. I can call a contact or message them from here. Or you can add the medium size shortcut and you will have all of them right here and quickly message someone or text actually call someone directly from here and the process of creating these is very simple you go to the shortcuts app and just add the action to call someone or message choose your contact and you're good to go so let me just show you quickly how you do that so all you got to do here just tap the plus button and just tap on add action and just choose here maybe call so just choose here on phone call and all you got to do here is just search for any contact that you have on your list and you're good to go then you can go ahead and of course add this to the home screen of your device so that is basically for this video guys these are some of the most useful ios 14 home screen widgets that i believe everyone should have on their device hope you guys enjoyed the video leave a like if you did and don't forget to subscribe for more and i'll see you on the next one